so today's video is going to be a review video. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, so I'm excited to be doing it now. I've already filmed the demo of me applying it, so maybe I'll switch back and forth in this video between me talking and you guys watching the demo. But the review is going to be on the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. And I picked this up from Christmas Tree Shop about maybe two and a half months ago. And I have fallen in love with it. I really wanted to talk to you guys about it because of how much I love this product. Now, I have been a huge avid user of the Boo Boo Cover Up, I believe that's what it's called, and of the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. I've been a huge fan of both of those. Probably the Boo Boo Cover Up is like my holy grail, but then I switched over to the Hard Candy one. But the only problem with both of those is they really settle into my fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes, and they didn't have much of a yellow undertone. The Boo Boo Cover Up did, but the hard candy one did not. So it was a little bit difficult to try and blend underneath my eyes. So I needed something that was a little bit thinner. So that's when I came across this one. This one I bought on like a complete win. This one has a great consistency. It's very thin. It's not watery. It's very thin, however, and it does not settle in my fine lines at all whatsoever. I do unfortunately have fine lines under my eyes, so I really have to be careful and conscious of how I blend out my makeup and how I make those fine lines disappear. Also, I do have dark circles under my eyes, so I need something that's going to conceal that. And the best way of doing that is either using like a kind of salmon kind of color to like a yellow color. The yellow color just kind of hides the bluish like dark brown undertone and it highlights it, it brightens it under the eye. So I needed one of those two colors and usually you can't find a concealer that has like a salmon color to it. So I did find one and this one has a great yellow undertone that just completely hides my under eye circles. Now I don't have puffy under eyes unless of course I didn't get any sleep, but naturally I have the dark bluish like brown. Most of the time they're the brown under eye circles because they are natural. So this one hides it perfectly. Now if I were to read the back, it says it camouflages imperfections in dark circles. It's full coverage, high resistance, and it's undetectable finish. So yes, I would have to say you can't tell that I'm wearing any kind of concealer around my eyes or on my face. I did apply this on all of the areas on my face that needed it, meaning my chin, my nose, right here in my eyes. And I only use this and some powder on top of it. And actually I only use powder on my eyes. So this actually settles in really nicely even without powder. Powder. I don't know that it would settle very nicely around the eyes without powder so I definitely would wear it like at least around the eyes generally speaking like if I were to just go out like on a weekend I would use this around my eye circles and then I would use my glamouflage everywhere else on my face and the only reason why I'm doing that is because the glamouflage does have a little bit more of a fuller coverage and it's a little bit thicker so I feel like it lasts just a little bit longer and I like it you know, to cover out my redness, any pimples or anything like that. Whereas this, I pretty much just like to use around my eyes. And I think that's pretty much what this is formulated for. It doesn't say like anything like only for eyes. So overall, if I were to talk about the concealer, I think it is long lasting. I do believe that it does cover up any of my imperfections. Now, like I said, I do normally just use it as an under eye concealer. So I can't speak that it's like the greatest for blemishes. I used on my blemishes, but I don't really have like acne or like zits or anything. I just have like redness around my face. But the main thing about it is I don't find that it settles in my fine lines. I use powder immediately after using this product so I don't know if maybe that's why it doesn't settle into my fine lines. But overall I just feel like I have a much more natural look when I use this concealer. So if I had to rate it between like a 1 and a 5, I'd probably give it about a 4. I definitely would repurchase it again. I really do enjoy the concealer. I'm always up for trying new concealers, so if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I never turn down trying out a new concealer. But as of now, this is a huge favorite of mine, but I think I've pretty much gone over everything. I hope I answered any questions that you guys may have had about it. I hope I answered any questions that you guys have had on this product, and I do recommend that you guys at least go try it out. If you guys are not following me on all my social media networks, please do. You can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, everywhere. Just find me everywhere. I always have my social media links down below. I also have some other fun, interesting links down below as well. And I think that is it. So I will see all of you guys in my next video. Take care, everyone. Ooh.